Well, Darren, it always feels like a, a quick turnaround for these Saturday, Tuesday games. This one, I should imagine, even more rapid, really, because you've got to, got to get on the bus pretty soon. Yeah, we'll be leaving at half past one. It's obviously a very long journey for us, but, you know, going the day before is helpful. The lads will stretch their legs tomorrow. We'll, we'll get them out. Um, get them out for a jog and maybe go through one or two things. But no, um, it is what it is and we'll have to just get on with it, you know. But we, we're going there on the back of another good win on Saturday. Was it a case as well of you were pretty happy with how you used your, your subs at the weekend, Nathan Thompson, of course, able to, to get a few minutes rest and going into the final part of the match as well in, in stoppage time? Yeah, I would have liked to have done it earlier, you know, and I was it was on my mind, I was to and fro and whether I should bring another three subs on. But the lads looked all right, you know, they've looked good again today. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see tomorrow. But um, I think mentally it's important to stay strong at this time of the season because physically I think we look good. We're continuing to run, we're finishing games strongly whether we're bringing subs on or, on or not. You know, the game against Gillingham only, only brought one sub on, just Dems. So, but I think also when you're winning uh, games and bringing that freshness on, I think it's important. We did that for, well, the three subs come on the last 10 minutes, last nine minutes in your time. And obviously just before that, Ethan and Niall had played 20, 25 minutes. So, yeah, I think it's important. Listen, everyone's going to be important. Subs more so than probably most. Mentally, the fact that you've had a good run, that you're in a good position in the table. Does it make life easier when you've got this relentless run of fixtures to have something to, to hold on to, both in terms of the recent performances and also where you are in the table and the points you've got in the bag? Yeah, I think it's just a game at a time and we just have to keep focusing on what we're doing, keep playing to our strengths, keep having the correct mentality when we approach each and every individual game. Um. And that's how we've got to look at it and try and keep this run going for as long as we possibly can. Um, because we're on a good run, we know that. We've had a good month up to now and we want to continue that as long as we can, really. Just talking injuries, Dan Jolay not on the bench at the weekend. Mark Tyler sitting among the substitutes. Was that owing to some kind of knock? No, we've had a, a problem with the goalkeeper. So Dan, his partners uh, got covid so Dan, because he lives with her, obviously has to self-isolate. And young uh, Will Blackmore, his mother has got symptoms. So I think I, I'm not, I, she must have it. I think she must do. So he's going to have to self-isolate for 10 days. So I had a choice to make about getting a goalkeeper. And the only goalkeepers we can sign are ones that are out of contract or stick tiles on. So, you know, both of those goalkeepers will be back for the Wigan game, so it's just tomorrow night. Um, so that, that was the reason. Is he sitting there with his fingers crossed, hoping that he doesn't have to get involved? I suppose to a certain degree he is, but equally, is he is he ready to go? Would he be more than happy to, to come on? Yeah, listen, Mark's a fit lad. And, and I think with, with Tiles, the most important thing would be the experience he brings. Very good talker, good communicator. He trained with a group on Friday, trained fine. You know, listen, it's not an ideal situation, but given the fact that, you know, we've only got tomorrow to get through until the goalkeepers are back, it's very unusual. But this is, again, the COVID, what it can do to you. Um, we would have to have signed another goalkeeper for a month. And like I say, it would have to be an out-of-contract co goalkeeper. We did have a look, but to be honest, there wasn't, there wasn't great options, I've got to be honest. Yeah, just the way in which COVID can throw up these these unpredictable things. Let's just look at Plymouth then. Uh, a side I think you you really rate, we've spoken before about teams with a, a clear identity and Plymouth definitely fit into that category. Yeah, they do. They're, they're, they're on a really good run, nine unbeaten. Um, you know, they play with three at the back. They, or certainly they have done for a long, long time. They've got a good togetherness, know each other. They've had a group that's been together, got a promotion last season. So we know it's going to be a tough game, um, you know, and, and as they all are, they've got some real clear strengths to how they play, real clear strengths in some of their personnel. So we've got to be mindful of that, but we've got to go there and be positive um, and try and get another three points. 
yeah, their games generally seem to be quite tight. I suppose a bit like the the home match from earlier in the season. Yeah, we won by the the odd goal, one nil. It should be more, if I'm going to be honest. We, you know, a lot of opportunities to to make it more than one. But even on the night, you could see that they've got some real threats. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a tough game. Um, and like I say, we, we've got to make sure that we're concentrated. That that we've gone through everything today we needed to go through. Um, and try and get another performance and, and most importantly try and get another three points Yeah and good timing with the, the performance against Gillingham the other day of course another away game with Plymouth on Tuesday and the, the run of games you've got coming up is going to be a proper test of the away form I think it's is it five of the next eight away from home? Um, I think it's four of the next six I think that's right um, we had five out of the next seven and obviously Gillingham's gone uh, but no we just look we, we, we listen at the end of the day, you play as many home games as you do away games. So over the course of a season, at the moment, we're, we're, you know, once we get through this batch of games in terms of the next six, we'll have a lot more at home left. So we have to make sure that if we can maintain a similar position to how we find ourselves now after this run of games. But really, I'm not looking too far ahead. I'm only concentrated on three points tomorrow. And then once that's done, we start concentrating on Wigan. And that's the only way we're looking at it. Is Reese Brown okay after the weekend? Yes, everyone touch wood, absolutely fine. Everyone's trained today, um, so they all look fine, look fresh. Um, so no issues. 